right, questions for Akeem? How good did it feel just to get back out on, out on the field on Saturday and kind of, you know, play? It felt great. I ain't gonna lie, man. I ain't been on the field in so long, man. It's just being out there. I had a lot of family here. Being back on the field, my brothers. It felt good. You feel like a little bit of rusty at the beginning, or like when it started to feel. Uh, I wouldn't say rusty. Just had to get back and like get that speed back. But I wouldn't say rusty. Uh, coach said that he thought that uh, you still were trying to get into like elite game shape. Yeah. Do you feel like you're there? Do you feel like you're there today? Or are you feeling? Like yes, I do feel yourself? like I'm there. Oh, uh, you know, definitely. I do. My comments, but uh, I was just like coming off of injury. Anybody like it's always just you're not gonna come out here and just go. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, you got to trust your body and make sure that you are ready to go. So it's just trusting my body and trusting that I'm fully healed. How, how frustrating is you talked about, I guess, going through something like that midway through preseason? It seemed like you stayed pretty engaged. I guess how, how did you? As a leader? Uh, for me, it was very frustrating because um, as far as camp started, like, I was getting better every day. Getting better, getting better, stacking days, stacking days. And um, just knowing that I had a big role or I got a big role uh, in the team, um, it's just frustrating to be going down night. I mean, if it would have happened at the beginning of fall camp, like that would have been better. I mean, but I mean, God has a plan, and uh, all I had to do was just trust Him, stay locked in, because if other guys see me uh, loping around or not locked in, then they're gonna feel like, oh, he's not ready. But at the end of the day, it's just making sure I'm on my on P's and Q's because in, I, it's just a hand me. I can come back anytime, so just being ready for when I was back. Coach Novell yesterday called the perimeter blocking awful. As in the wide receiver room, how much pride do you guys take in that? And what were kind of the film sessions like kind of going back and watching what happened against Memphis? Um, we definitely took that one to the chin. Like, uh, we did not like it at all. Even from when we watched film, um, that's not us. Uh, everyone knows that. And um, we definitely made out a huge emphasis today in practice and making sure that that's a huge emphasis from here on out. And we're going to definitely be better with that. You personally, just being a bigger kid, and a strong talk, kid, you know, is that something CBD you take pride in? Like, definitely. Well, I think Johnny because, last night, Johnny yeah. was here last year, was pushing guys over to the sideline class. Facts. Facts. Uh, I definitely do because it's not only just for me, but my teammates. Obviously, um, you can get someone killed, you get someone hurt. Like that's you got to play for the person next to you, and not just for yourself. So I take a big pride in that. And then, in general, what do you need to do to kind of get the passing offense? going a little bit just got to stay connected stay on our stay on point um it's not the quarterback it's everyone um we just got to be there locked in and uh it's just the little things honestly uh we just got to make sure that we're doing our assignment to the t and make sure that we're all on the same page so that means staying out there getting that extra work in or in the film room with the quarterbacks making sure that we know what we're doing wrong they know what they're doing wrong so we can all lock in and be good here from here on out. Do you guys still feel that there is a sense of identity on this offense? Or Say that one more time. Do you feel like there's still a sense of identity of this offense or like how far it of feeling? Definitely, definitely. Like looking at our offense, everyone in the country know that we, we don't like, how we're playing out there is not us. So we know that we're, we can be better and we're going to be better and we're working to do that. Even as one of the younger guys on the team who's starting to become a leader, who kind of helps you with that? Like, do you still call some of the older guys like Johnny, Keon? Um, first off, it's just being that I came here last year in the spring early, uh, I got to see the full view of the team and how everyone led. So I kind of picked up off their traits. And then um, I still got some leaders that I looked up to last year, like Mo, my locker mate. Um, just seeing how he lead and how he do things, him, Darius, um, that's just, I just picked up off of that and just knowing what to do and what not to do and how to lead. Um, that's just what I kind of learned as I, like, you know what I'm saying, got here. Anything else? All right, thanks, Akeem. Thanks, Akeem. Thanks, Akeem.